Hi guys, Kim here with Art Classes for Kids and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm joined with Lily. And if you're new to our channel, um, we bring these videos to you each week and we teach drawing, painting, and sculpting to kids. We teach all about famous artists and some contemporary artists. Um, and today's is a contemporary artist. We're going to be making this project right here, which this work of art is inspired by the contemporary artist named Polly Applebaum. And she makes these really amazing installations where she paints, I'll show you this kind of close up, where she paints on fabric, cuts each piece of the fabric out, and then lays it all out in a really cool formation, which is an installation, and they're usually in museums or really big galleries. And we're gonna be painting something like that today. This project's a little more advanced Unless you're really good at cutting in your five or six, this is probably for a little bit older age than you because there's a lot of cutting. But other than that, the painting part's pretty easy and then we're gonna be putting it together. So uh, Lily, do you wanna tell them what the supplies are? Sure, so the main supplies that you'll need are watercolors, the water jar, paintbrushes. Um, you will need a medium sized paintbrush and a small sized paintbrush, small skinny sized paintbrush, some paper towels, glue stick, a piece of watercolor paper, or if you don't have watercolor paper, what could they use? They could use cardstock if you had cardstock. And then. Then also you need scissors, scissors. and you'll need a. A piece of cardboard. A piece of cardboard, and also a. A piece, a, a piece of colored construction paper. A piece of colored construction paper. Any color yeah, will any do. color. You can but choose see, your favorite color. You know what? I mounted mine on cardboard because once you cut out these pieces and put them on the paper, they're a little, they make it a little heavier. So, but if you don't have any cardboard, you can just keep it on the paper until you can get something to mount it on or to frame it on. Or frame it in, you know? So, um, gosh, what else should we tell them while they're getting their supplies together? I think that's it. Yeah, well, we, we thank you so much for sending in all your photos of your finished art. And some people are even sending us photos of themselves making our art and watching videos, our videos at the same time. And um, how, how can they send us a video, or a, not a video, a photo if they've never done it before? Well, you can post your photo on Instagram and tag it with our classes for kids, or you can email us at kids.com. Yeah, and if you need any supplies, we have a lot of these supplies on our website, which is artclassesforkids.com. And if you um, go there, not only can you shop for things and we are an Amazon affiliate, you can also check out Art Camp in a Box, or yeah. Yeah, Art, we Art have Camp, Art in, Camp a in a Box. That's what we've been working so hard on. And it, we just launched it. And you can check out our, um, our unboxing videos of us unboxing the beginner's box and the advanced box for our camp in the box. Yeah, if you want to have a virtual summer camp, and I know a lot of you have been home all summer, and you're probably tired of being at home, but if you're stuck at home because your camp got canceled, because our camp, we had to cancel it because of social distancing, um, that's why we came up with our camp in a box. You get enough supplies for 10 projects. Like today we're doing one, you get to do 10, and uh, you can either do a virtual camp where you join us on a Zoom, you know, a Zoom class, which is a Zoom camp, and you join us for three and a half hours each day. Uh, the first one is June 15th through 19th, or you can watch the videos at your own leisure. So, uh, gosh, what else can we tell them? And if you want to support us bringing you these uh, videos, these video projects for free, you can always go to our link for Kofi which is kind of like a tipping app. And if you wanna you know, say thanks for, you can just save it and send us a message or you can leave a tip. So if you wanna get started, let's get started. What we're gonna do is we're going to paint on our paper. So we are going to do patterns. So if you can see in here, these were patterns, which was a circle with little circles around it. This one's pretty hard to cut or it takes, it's time consuming to cut. The easiest two patterns would be painting circles or painting diamonds. So Lily, I'm gonna have you paint circles. Yeah, I'm gonna do circles. And I'm gonna paint diamonds. So I'm gonna grab my paintbrush. Diamonds are a little harder, but yeah. if you're up for a challenge, you can go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna do a demonstration here and I'll 
I'm gonna hold it up against here. And, and I'm gonna move this out just a little bit. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to get a color. And, oh, and we're gonna be using our medium the, brush. Yeah, the medium brush. I'm going to get a First. color and I'll say, for example, blue. Now I'm gonna make my shape and I'm gonna repeat it in a row. I'm going to make a diamond, which is this shape, color it in, then I'm going to make it again. Oh, and same also, size. you wanna make this really watery too. Well, yeah, make it really watery, even though I'm trying to make it not run all the way down. Here's yeah. a baby diamond. You wanna water it, but you don't want to. So I start with a diamond, and then I'm going to add one pattern to it, to everyone. So my pattern is going to be four dots, one in each corner. One, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna repeat. So next, I'm gonna repeat this shape over and over and use up all my paper. Woo! That one's running because I'm doing it wet, but I'm holding it up. So I've got four dots. Now, if I get it too crazy, I can always take a piece of paper towel and I can always blot it if I if it's smeared too much because I'm holding it up. But mine's gonna be consistently drippy because, because, because I'm holding why? it up. Because I'm holding it up. Okay. So I, if I want it brighter, I can give a second coat to the color that faded. So now I've got blue with, with purple diamonds. Now I'm gonna go to the next color. Now I'm gonna pick another color for diamonds. I'm gonna have rows and rows and rows of four diamonds. Lily's gonna have rows and rows of circles. Now you wanna make them kinda of big if you don't wanna do as much cutting. If you make them small, that's fine. It's gonna look more detailed, but you're gonna be doing more cutting. Now you gotta pick a color to put inside. Oh, and what do I do for yeah, the ones that are really close together? The those, side. don't do those because I'm recommending circles and diamonds because this one is gonna take a long time for somebody to cut. But if you're one of the older students and you want the challenge, that one is a circle with four circles touching it. Yeah, but we're not gonna demonstrate that to you today. Yeah, well, you can do it if you want, but I'm gonna show you a simpler version because it does take a long time to cut when you do that one. So next I'm gonna do my second row. My second row, I'm gonna pick a new color. I'm going to pick um, this color, which is hot pink, and I'm going to do some more diamonds. This time I'm gonna do all four of my diamonds the same size, because last time I didn't leave enough room for my last diamond. And no, I didn't leave enough room for yeah. my last So set. now I've got four of these diamonds, which mine kinda of touched, that's okay. And then I'm going to pick a color for a dot. So this time I'll pick blue for my dot. So now I'm putting four dots, one, two, three, four. So her pattern was like an oval with four dots. I'm doing a diamond because it's a straight cut. It's kind of easier. And circles are really yeah. easy to so make. The painting isn't the hard part. It's gonna be the cutting and the choosing where you want your design shape to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so circles are really easy to make because what I'm just doing is just twirling the brush. Around, oh, cool! Like flattening the brush and, and then yeah. Oh, I see. So you get a really good circle. Yeah. That's Lily's technique. I get like a perfect circle. Okay, I'm going to my third row. It's a win-win. My third row is going to be this orangey, orangey red. So just keep on painting. So what, you know, I love installation art. Now, if you're not familiar with installation art, it's when an artist changes an environment, it, it, usually an interior environment, by the way that they place the objects that they've created to put together to present as their art. So uh, this, per this is like a painting, but rather it being on a wall, it's on the floor. Sometimes she has it going up a wall and also on the floor. Sometimes she has it moving all around the room. Sometimes it's all on one side of the room and only comes halfway down into the room. They're all and also, different. what are we using a skinny brush for? Oh, that's if you want to have a third detail. So say like I have this one with blue, maybe I want to add um, uh, a purple dot in this. So maybe I'm going to have a dot in the middle. Ooh, cool. So if you want to have a more detailed pattern, so this one, I have pink diamond with blue and now a purple dot inside of the blue. Yeah, so uh, do you know of any other installation artists that you really like, Lily? Mm. Can you think of any? No, I can think of I some. I don't think I can think of any. What about Yayoi Kusama? 
She's an installation yeah. artist? Yeah, because all those infinity rooms are installations. Wow, I that didn't you know go, that. She sets up an environment. Sometimes she just makes the whole room polka dots. You know, she did this one really, this is one of my favorite installations. She did a room once that she painted everything in it, and it looked like a room with furniture, and she painted everything white. And then the, the viewer goes in and gets a sheet of sticker dots of bright colors. Colored like, stickers. Like primary like colors. Like neon colors, actually. And then they put their dots anywhere they want. So they're actually coloring the room out of polka dots. And then everything is covered in polka dots afterwards. That's, that's a cool installation. There's different artists that uh, make rooms that look like you're in nature, but you're indoors. And like the thing we saw in the Banksy um, documentary where he did an installation but inside of a moving van where he made it look like, you know, a garden with like running water and a waterfall. And it was like stuff. a rainbow in the yeah, back. Yeah, but it was in the back of like a moving truck. That was a delivery truck. Yeah, it was in New York City just parked on the side of the road. So that would be another form of installation. Okay. You know what I might do? I have little spaces in between. I might put something in those once I get done. Oh, I did too, but I'm gonna add my dots now. You can let it dry a little longer if you don't want it so runny. Okay, let's see. How about a lime green dot? Let's see if this shows up on red. I feel like I gotta rub it. It kind of shows up. Woo! I can make some really small dots with my skinny brush. Can ya? Oh, they're okay, not I'm really small, but they're pretty small. So this one's green with purple. Cool. Oh, I messed up that one. Oh, that's all right. I'm just going to make that one. So big. I'm not sure what pattern you chose. These are two simple patterns. You could make a different pattern. You could have an oval. You could have a square. You could have some kind of star shape, but that's going to be really hard to cut out. Well, I mean, it's not hard to cut one, but it's hard to cut like, you know, 50 of them. Without it taking the half a day, you know? Half a I know. day? Okay, I'm gonna do a light colored one. I'm gonna do yellow. You are halfway done with yours. Yep. And try I'm try not to and make it so hard that that it breaks those bristles. You gotta be gentle with these brushes when you spin oh, yeah. around. Okay. So I've got this many done. I'm trying not to lift it too much because it's all drippy, because I've got it nice and wet. Okay, I'll do orange on top of yellow. So dot, 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 dot. It looks like tie-dye when it like goes So she uses fabric, sometimes silk, sometimes velvet. But when she does it, it has a tie-dye look up close because the colors like run into each other. Which is why we're doing the same idea but with watercolors on paper. Oh, what color have I gonna use yet? Uh, hmm. I'm going to use light green now for my background. Oh, cool. Are you, now you're going to do that to all of them? Yeah. Or to a lot of them. Maybe half of them have an X and half have a dot. X is nose. It's like tic-tac-toe like concept or something. Okay. Let's do okay, how about a dark blue? Oh, I haven't done a dark blue yet. So the goal is to get your patterns all painted and then as you let them dry, you can cut the dry ones first and then cut the, the last ones you did, the wetter ones last, so they have more time to dry. Mine are dry quick. Oh, good. Except for the ones that have big puddles. Woo! Okay, I made that one a little darker. Okay, I've got one more row to go. Let me flip this around so you can see. I'm gonna do three I'm gonna let rows. this dry a little before I put the dots I'm gonna on do it. three rows of small dots because I did three rows of big dots. Okay. And then like, I'm gonna do like a mixture of both. Okay, I'm doing an orange background on this one. I'm doing some with patterns and then some with solid colors. Okay. So you guys could do that too. You could have just yeah. had solid colors. 
Okay, I'm gonna add dark green to my blue dots. Okay, so I have this done like that. So I'm gonna let that dry. And while I'm letting that dry, let's see how Lily's is going. I like this green and pink combo that oh, I that's chose cute. to do. Can I do one row of circles for you? Uh, oh. sure. Sweet. Okay, but on the other okay. side. Okay, I'll do one row here, just to get. You yeah. can do. Oh, I got, I got it. Brush. Okay, what color dots do you want? Um, dark blue. Dark blue. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with bigger ones. Okay, like that big. Oh, that one was way too watery. And then you can do the designs in them. I'll just get this going so we can. Oh, some of those I'm, I'm gonna have no uh, patterns in. Okay. I'm doing one more row of patterns and then the rest I'm just gonna do solid colors. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna do this orange because I haven't done an orange one yet. Okay, so I'm and letting mine dry now. This first row is actually dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down through this. My first two rows are dry. So I'm going to cut these out. Now I want to leave a, just a little bit of white showing. Oh, let me move this. No, I don't need that. So I've got my strip. I'm going to cut these into, I'm going to leave a little white. So it's like a little border. And now I, I don't need my watercolors anymore, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. So this is my first little shape right there. So I'm gonna keep my my pieces organized in a pile. I'll tell you why, Lily. Because then when I'm making a pattern, I'll have all these the same matching color together in a pile, and then I'll know where to find that color. Ooh, cool. Well, hopefully you're still enjoying being home during this pandemic and you've been making lots of art. I think art is super popular right now. And Arts I'll tell and you crafts, why. Different crafts because too. I've only gone to the store a few times, like, you know, like a Walmart or a Target or one of those stores that has a little bit of everything. And in those kind of stores, the art supply row is pretty empty. So people are going out and they are Making finding stuff. things to do. They're finding stuff to do and they're making stuff. Even at Walmart, there was no yarn left and no fabric left uh, at all. Yeah, tell maybe, maybe people, people are, are Maybe people are making masks out of the fabric. You know what I mean? That's one yeah. thing you know, that they could be doing. So yeah, we've been doing our art supply shopping online because the stores are either closed or out of it. And they won't have any for a while, so. Yes, we got a multitask. Yep. So I'm not sure where you're viewing from, but in case you don't know, we live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and things are closed here, aren't they, Lily? Oh yeah. But things are getting ready to open up again. Like our state is just now, today was the first day they were letting hair salons open. But with hair salons and most restaurants. But with tons of restrictions. Yeah. Yeah, but the hotels, the casinos, those are still closed. But they are thinking of opening soon. Yeah, they're gonna be in the next phase. So I'm still having all this like white space around the edge. It's kind of like a little glow around it. Ooh. That one got touched. So I'm just cutting away. And like I said, the diamonds and the circles are the easiest to cut. If you get a really detailed shape or a shape with tons of in and out cuts like that one, it takes a lot longer. So help yourself out. But if you want, you know, you can own any project we make with you guys. You can make this whatever project. Like you, this can one. Make you can make it, it over own. and over. And you can make it again after the first time you've made it. You could say, hey, if I ever made this again, I might do it a different shape or a different you color. You also might give it to somebody if you Yeah, and if you want to keep one yourself, then you can give somebody else a gift. 
Yeah. There's always a birthday. It's always an occasion. There's always just a, a non-reason gift. Just to say, hey, I was thinking about you and I thought you might like this. Okay. Looking good, Lily. One more row One more row to go. I might do, I might, I'm thinking right now when I organize my shapes, I'm already thinking about what I might do. I might organize them in warm colors in one area and cool colors on another, or I might do a rainbow effect like this one where it starts out yellow, then goes pink, then purple, then blue, you know, kind of in a rainbow kind of, uh, you know, formation. Or I might do half of it warm and half of it cool. I'm thinking of doing that because I've never done that before. I always like to try new things. So hopefully, <laughs> excuse me. Hopefully you guys like to try new things too. Okay, this one's super wet. So if you get one still wet, you can probably still cut it, but maybe fan it around or something. Okay, so Lily, uh, can I show on yours the easiest way to cut circles? Sure. So the easiest way to cut a circle is to go with a little white space right next to it. You go down the row like that. And then you go to the other side and you and you cut it as close as you can without touching the color all the way down before you cut in between them. See like this? See how I did both sides? Oh yeah! Then you take the first one and you just cut it off like this. Then you can really handle it and go all the way around. And when you cut with scissors, I always say open them up all the way like you're chewing with the inside and you, you don't want to cut with the tips. You want to cut all the way and just keep it open kind of. So there's one. I'll cut one row for you and then I'll get back to mine. Cool. So I can demonstrate. So you just keep going around and around. And the other thing I do is, see, so you can just cut it off. And then I just turn the paper around and keep it in between the blades. That's another way to go fast. Three. Are we having a cutting contest? Who can cut fastest? So this part is just the cutting. So now, you know what we forgot to tell them, Lily? What? Anytime we're going too fast or too slow, what do they do? You can pause the video at any time. Yeah, and then when you're so this yeah. is a little on the monotonous. We might even speed this up in our video. So if you want to, you can pause it and join back when you're ready, or just let it run. You know, but if it's taking you longer to cut your pieces than it's taking us, because I'm kind of helping Lily a little right now, then um, then you know, pause it and join us back when you have all your pieces. Yeah, cut. or take a little break while you're making your art and watching us well you can just take the break <laughs> okay or maybe you have a friend around or a parent that wants to team up on the cutting okay back to my okay so I just do it row by row I'm telling you the cutting takes longer than the painting so but we just gotta look at my pile of scraps just growing. Some people find this very therapeutic to just sit around and cut. You know, everybody's different. People love to just repeat simple things. That's why people love to knit and crochet. You just start with something really simple and you repeat that same thing over and over and over and, and pretty soon you're not thinking about it and then the next thing you know you've made a scarf <laughs> or socks or whatever. What do most people make for their first thing? A scarf, I think. Or a blanket. Yeah, or a blanket. That one just takes a little bit longer. Because it's bigger. Yep. Or like small blanket. Yeah. I have a girl that takes art for me, private lessons, and her grandmother brings her. She's homeschooled. So what she, her grandmother does while she's waiting is she's always knitting and crocheting. And then she's made me like two pairs of slippers while she's been waiting. And they're awesome. You gave one pair to me. Well, you took it over, I think. You're like, oh, I love these. They're cute. Yeah, they're cute. They pom-poms on them. They have like little flower pom-poms. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm getting my little piles arranged. Okay. Doing good, Lily. Keep it going. What about any half circles you might have? Anything? You have half circles? Yeah, I have one half. Oh, uh, I would wait until you come up with your design and cut them then into halves. 
Oh, you mean you only painted them half? No, I have one half. Oh. Because I didn't have any room for another one. Yeah, just skip that one. Because you don't have another one to kind of go with it to make a pattern. Yeah. Okay, so we are still cutting, and I'm sure you're still cutting. So cut away. Whoops, there goes my papers. So I was just thinking, you know, this whole corona thing. This is like, this is a historical time. I don't know if anybody's done something they used to do, and now you're doing it differently. So, for example, well, of course, everybody's doing school differently. What else? If you uh, are well, used except to doing... for people who are not doing who ha, who who are not in school. Yeah, but kids are mostly watching our channel. So th the things that are basic, like uh, we don't go out to eat like we used to, but we have gone through a couple of drive-throughs, mm -hmm. haven't we? And we've done a we lot of do canes. That for over a month. We've done a lot of canes drive Not a lot. We've done it a couple times. We've done canes, and then where did we else do we? Oh, we went to Wendy's for the first time. Yes, to, today. Yeah. Today. Today, when after we had to go to Target, which was really busy, and they we had, had a line. to wait in a line, but it did take that long. Yeah, you couldn't go in until somebody else came out because it was at capacity, which it's you're not allowed in our state to have more than. Uh, you can only have half of the amount of um, of customers in your store at any time as you would normally have because they want it less crowded so there's more space around the people when they're going and, up and down the rows. And we've seen some people without masks. And yeah, people. they don't require it here, but it's a good idea. So we always wear our styling masks. Yeah. And then, um, and, but in, in places like New York City, I think it's prohibited to go anywhere without a mask. Oh, I'm yeah. Sure. So I've got all mine cut. Can I cut a row or two yeah. of yours? Okay. And those of you at home, remember, you can pause this video at any time. Or speed it up. Yep. If you just don't feel like waiting. <laughs> yeah. And listening to our crazy conversations about, you know, Target being busy. Yeah, we had to get a few things. We are happy that the weather is really great. So we got some things to play outside. Some right. games. Some games. Some outdoor games. So what do we get, Lily? We got croquet. I keep saying croquet as crochet. It's croquet. Yeah, but it's croquet. Croquet, what else do we get? We also got badminton. Bit badminton. Uh, well, it was a box it? with a couple of different sports. And then we also got volleyball. Uh, it's a net that you put up and you can play badminton, volleyball, or I don't know, what do they call uh, that? Bochi, what do they call that? Bochi ball or like highlight? I don't know. No, the things with the two like yeah, the curvy scoops. things. Oh, uh, you catch a ball with it like a scoop. I don't know. We used to call it highlight when I was growing up. Really? We used to have professional highlight in Las Vegas Weird. a long time ago. Just cutting, cutting, cutting. I wish I could cut two at a time, but they'd have to be exactly the same size. Yeah, that's what that's what kind of sucks about this. What? That's not a good word. That's, that's kind See what of happens when you turn around about, and you talk like that. That's just what's kind of bad about this project. That's what happens in middle school. This is what's bad about this okay. project. Bad! Okay, I'm going to cut one more row and then I'm going to show them some options of how to think about arranging. Okay, so while Lily's going to keep cutting, Lily, did I tell you these things take a long time to cut? Yeah, and would you, you tell told me? me earlier. And would you tell me? Huh? Would you tell me when I told you that? I don't know. You said, no, it won't take that long. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I have my little box that I can put all my scraps in. Okay, this is now officially our trash box, so when you need to... Oh, pass me. Oh, wait, oh, no, when, when you're ready. Okay, so I'm going to take my board, and I'm going to do this here, but, you know... Oh, we don't even need this anymore. Or this stuff. So wait, I'll push, clear some space. Push this away. Yeah, I'll clear some space for us. Ah! Okay, and that's our trash. There's that. Okay, so now we don't, I don't need the scissors anymore. So I'll move this up a little closer. Oh wait, put away my paintbrush. Please. Okay. So we have this board right here. This is what I'm gonna lay everything out on. But before oh, I- trash bin. Oh, before I glue it into place, I'll just keep this way over here and you can grab it when you need it. Great. Okay, and 
I, I had mine and organized in little piles so I could find the colors that matched. So I think I'm gonna make a circle, but I think I'm going to have like, uh, I'm going to do warm on one side and cool on the other. So I might go like this and have like, I have four like that and then I might have four like this. Oh, maybe I'm just gonna have three. I don't know, I'm gonna see how these arrange. Let's see how Ooh, these arrange. You can make it kind of like a half circle. Then yeah. it look like a sunset. Ooh, maybe, yeah. Okay, let me or like try. sunrise. Yeah, so I'm gonna play, keep cutting, girl. Cool. So yeah. I'm gonna play around with some ideas. Before I make my final decision, I'm going to experiment, okay? So now I'm going to go like, oh, what if I did that, that side, and then I picked, ooh, I have three, I only, wow, that's kind of cold warm. Okay, so then I might have, ooh. Okay, so then I'll do this. Then I'll, I'll put this on the outside. So this, I'll do four of these, and then I'll do four of these. Ooh, I've got an extra one of these. Make it bigger. Okay, so I'm getting an idea of what it's gonna look like. So I'm placing it, because I'm sure the artist had to really think out her design. Maybe she designed it first and then painted all the parts. Or maybe she just painted tons of parts and said, hey, how can I arrange it? It's kind of a puzzle, right? And then I'm going to do this color. And maybe I'll just do it in between, like this. Kind of like when petals over that. I'm gonna save that one. I'm gonna go here, because it's getting smaller, so maybe I'm gonna only use a few less in the next layer. So I've got that, then this, I think I'll do like here, 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 and then these, oh my gosh, I've still got these left. And then these, and I've got these. Okay, so this one, I think I'll do these here, and then I'll just take two of these. Ones do I like the most? That one I like, except I cut it funky on the One other. of my circles, I accidentally cut part of it off. You did? Okay. Yeah. So that might be my whole design like that. What do you think? It looks like a flower. Well, it looks like on the top part, it's like sunrise. On the top part, it's like, on the bottom part, it's like a sunset. Yeah, or... Like, if you like look at it from this way, it's like sunsetting. If you look at it from this way, it's like sunrise and the blue part. Ah. Wow, okay, so I kind of like this idea, but it could be a different kind of pattern. It could be, let me move them all out of the way. So I want to do a circle. So, that one looked really okay. cool. I, okay, I, really I might like do, that. I might go back to that one, or I might go uh, cool color, warm color. Oh, like well, alternate. Yeah, I could alternate and just make that my design. Where That actually looks kind of interesting. Yeah, that might be tough too though. So I go warm color, cool color, warm color. Warm colors are what? Warm colors are like bright colors, like right? or things that would be like warm. Like maybe, like maybe uh, oh, like the sun or uh, a flame, like, like a flame, a candle, like uh, red, orange, yellow, hot pink. Um, okay, and then the cool green. colors are like grass, sky, water. Okay, so now maybe I'm gonna do this pattern, and then I do this color next and then I find that color and I do that color next and then I find um oh what comes after that the greenish one so see how I'm creating this other new pattern so yeah. if okay so before I know I want to do a circle so what I'm going to do is oh maybe you know while Lily's still cutting and talking to you I'm going to go get something that's circular to make a, a, a perfect circle. I think I'm gonna go get a pot lid. So I'll be right back. Cool. So keep cutting and keep talking to our people at home. Okay, and I'm back. And I found two things that are circular that you might have in your kitchen. This is a plastic lid, and this is, you know, a pot, pot and pan lid. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it together while Lily's still cutting, and you might still be cutting too. And then when she's ready, I'll help her come up with an idea. So I'll take this right here, and then what I'm going to do, because I don't want to draw a line on it, because I don't want it to show up, I'm going to get my glue stick. And with my glue stick, woo, I'm dropping pieces. Well, let me see if I can get that. 
Okay, got my missing piece. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold this down and I'm going to put glue in a circle like this. So now I've got it really gluey and you know what? I can see that glue on this because it's shiny where the glue is and it's not shiny where the other things are. So I'm going to go back to my idea of the warm colors on one end and the cool colors on the other. So let's see if we can figure this out. So my darkest of my warm colors are orange with red. So I'm gonna start right here towards the top and I'm gonna go orange with red and I'm going to do those side by side. Okay, because I had like four of those. This one. Okay, and now I'm going to do another four on the other side. So this one looks pretty dark. The one that was red with green. So now I'm gonna take this, put it here, and put this here. So I'm going point to point. And this one, and this one. Ooh, let me scoot these and overlap these, because this side was bigger. Okay, right there, and then right here. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom, and I was doing darkest on the outside, so this is a dark pile, and this green, this is dark, this is light. Okay, so now I'm going with my darkest of my cold colors, and I'm going to put those there. And there, I'm gonna quite, kind of overlap. Well, I'll put this one over there. Overlap that one a little. I should overlap this one. Okay, so I can fit them all in. And this one's big. Somehow I'm fitting all these in. There we go. And this one goes here, and this one goes here. Okay, so I press it down. They're not completely on there, but you can see now. So I've got all the cool colors on half of my circle and all the warm colors on the other half. And now I'm going to do another layer. So I had like, when I was just playing around with them and trying to figure out a design, I had two layers and then a few in the center. So next I'm going to get my uh, glue stick and I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna actually glue this whole area in the center. And if I want to, I can lift these things up, get under them a little. And once I get under all these, then I press those down. And I'm going to start my next group. Okay, so I've got this set of warm colors. And this one's sort of warm. It's got pink on it. And then, then I've got two more sets of these. So this time I'm only gonna put three of each one because I put four before. So now I'm going to add this and overlap these. So I've got three here, cover that little hole. And now I've got three of these here. And now I'm going to do that pattern, three of these over here. Let's see. Let's pick my three best out of four. I've got this one. I've got this one. Here, I'll put that one here. And I'll put one in between. Now that one isn't that glued down because I'm running out of spaces, so I'm gonna put some glue on top of these. And now I'm gonna do that over to here. I'm taking out the small one. It's not the same size. So you can put glue on the back of these too. And glue them that way. Just whatever go. works best yeah. for you. Try different methods. Whatever works for you. But I'm giving you some suggestions, but you might want to try your own way. But basically, we're just trying to glue paper down. Okay. So now it looks like this. So now I'm gonna put some in the middle. I've got these left and these left. So I think I'll switch sides and I'll make one here and here. Press those down. And then I'll put this one over here. 
I'm gonna put more glue on that one. Get you some glue. How you doing, Lily? You're almost good. You finished being cut? Yeah, I found another way that's easier to cut for me. Oh, okay. That's a bit faster. So this is how mine looks. And I like how it kind of looks 3D. This would be cool to put in a shadow box frame. That's where the glass doesn't touch the art. It has a little air space between it. But I think these look pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave mine here, help Lily cut her last few, and then we're gonna help her put hers together. So what I did was I just cut these into box, oh sorry. Okay. I just cut like little boxes out of these. And, and then you see, cut the cor around the corners? And then I just cut around the corners. Oh, it's way okay, for me. okay. It's, you it's try less all your time, different ways. It's less time consuming too. Okay, let's see how we do if we have a race. <laughs> Should we have a race? Yes, I've already started, so. Okay, well now I'm trying a new method. I'm going around every circle on the sides and then I just cut them apart. Oh, that's what you started with. That's what we started yeah. with doing. Well, I'm gonna try it again. Well, this one I gotta go all the way around it. That one had a lot of space between it, so. Okay. So I hope you guys have been making, watching our videos and making lots of cool art. If you have, you know, uh, let us know if you've been hanging it up in your room, giving it away, hanging yeah, it up in your living room. Yeah, post your photos on Instagram. I always wonder what us. happens to your cool art it's after like you make it. Okay. Yeah, send us a photo. See, this one, I had a lot of extra circles left, so I put them around the outside. But then this one kind of looks like a chrysanthemum or like a mum flower. Huh. Okay, we've got all those ones done. Oh darn, you beat me. Okay, how many do you have left? Nothing. You're done? Awesome. Okay, so grab your board or your paper. This is my easy cleanup. Just rub it into the can. So then... now I'm going to move my things to the side out. Okay. My um, piles to the side. So I could here, I'll sit mine right here. Better. I I know exactly what I'm gonna okay, do. Okay, tell me your plan. So what I'm gonna do is have the bigger, the smallest. It's, it's good it more in the middle. And then they can see what you're doing. I'm gonna use the smallest pieces around the edge. Okay. And then the bigger pieces which have less pieces towards the middle. Well let me put some glue on yours. In the circle. The, the, I don't do know if this is big. Well, no, it, it can go it can go out farther oh. because really these are small pieces, so they're not going to stick out so far. Wait, I'll hold oh. it. Yeah. Hold it. Hold your glue straight up when you go around it. Go around it two or three times, so it's really sticky to start. Okay, so put your first set around onto that. Okay. How you do? I was gonna go a bit bigger. Okay, well then watch it. Like if, if you can, okay. to like that. Size. If you don't have a stencil like a pot and pan that's that big, then go around the outside of that last one. I was gonna go out to like how that big is. Okay, I would start with this because you won't have enough pieces to go out that far. Okay. Okay, so she's got. Gonna spread them apart, but it's fine. Okay. So go, do you have a pattern? Or are you doing all X's on the outside? Well, what could good do like dark to warm on my small pieces? It's gonna kind of look like a wreath. Oh, okay. At first. No, that's why I was. Thinking. You're not gonna fill it in? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's just see how it goes. Well, that's it. Yeah. So now go ahead. Oh, and wait, see. no, I want to move them. You want them to be halfway around? So you want to space yeah. them out? I thought I would cover the entire thing. <laughs> Well then put one at the top, bottom, left and right, then do some in between, you know what I mean? Like a clock. It's fine. Uh oh, might be too late now. Here, I'll try, I got fingernails. Oh, it still doesn't want to come off. Okay. Yeah. Three there, then go, make sure you're matching side to side, because you're not going to have enough all the way around. Yeah, I'll just leave it like I that. I'm sure, but you're going to need some in here also, glue will show. 
It's fine. Um, okay. No, it's gonna clear up. Lose yeah, it still yeah. shows. A little. Eh. Okay, let's go. Well, I could put some of these small ones, like in between. Oh, okay, there. good idea. It's okay, that's cute. One. That's all right. Okay, and so now. Okay, do you want to put? Let me just show you something. Do you want to put it like where it's, it glues to that, where it's in it, like a little? I guess, yeah. And skip every other one. Skip, skip two, and then do it because you only have half as many. True. Yeah. There you it's go. fine. Oh, skip a few. See so you have. You, oh. you. Had one extra. So okay. Just put that in between. Yeah. Now you can do this. You can take some more glue. It and, and some of it's not sticking. Like Watch this. Here. So now just do this. Put some glue, like in go like go like this, and then your next ones will have some glue on them. You Wait, see? I got it. Yeah. Alrighty. So. Do you want to do have... yellow for the whole next? You got a lot of yellows. No, no, no. I'm doing okay. it dark. Oh, okay. That's purple, purple looks kind of weird, but. That's alright. It shows up because it's got a white outline, so you can see the shape on top yeah. of it. Oh, you know what? Maybe scoot that one over and have one there and there. Oh, wait, wait, a little closer, maybe. Like where this kind of slides under that one, yeah. Make sure the space well, matches. Well, we did put more glue on. Yeah. See how much space you have between each one? Try to make that between those two. This one's kind of weird. Yeah, you can move that one over. Okay, that looks great. Okay, now, and slide no, that one up a little. Help. Slide, tuck that one in a little more. Okay. Looks great. Now what? See, when you get done, you might have enough to do a one ring around the outside. So far, okay, we got a few more to go. Those can slightly overlap the last. No, they're yeah. gonna overlap most of it. Perfect. I just, I just had the right amount. Okay. You put your smallest ones in the center? There are no smaller ones. That, that one? These ones are small. No, the smallest of the reds. Oh. Uh, I guess. Uh, I would do all red in the middle. Well, I should probably put a little glue, glue on those. Glue. On those. Oh wow, Lily, you got it all over the place. Yeah, I have one extra, but I don't know what. Put it I right in the it. middle. Put make it yellow, or, or just don't. Use I'm gonna it. cut it smaller and then put it. In the Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Scissors. Or yeah. here. Alrighty, so let me grab mine. You grab yours. This one almost came off. Yeah, so if you need to re glue any of yours because some of them were starting to peel off, you can do that and you can pause the video and then come back <laughs> when you're ready. You ready? Show it off. Ta da! Ta -da! Now look at how different both of ours look. So this is where you get really creative. How you decide to arrange it can make it look totally different. We have this one that has a lot of layering going on and then it's got the little dots around it. Then we've got mine where it's all in the middle. And then we've got Lily's where hers is a little more like that one where there she's got some layering in the middle. She's got a pattern of these X dots and then she just made all these dots go all around it like it's exploding. It's so. exploding with color! Yeah! So I hope you enjoyed this project. I'm sure it looked awesome when you were done. And I can't wait to see it. So once again, if you can send us a photo, we would love to see it and we'd like to reply to you guys. And what do they do again, Lily? You can post your photo on Instagram and tag it with our classes for kids. Or you can email us at kimandourclassesforkids.com Yeah! And don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and click the notifications bell down below if you if you haven't already so you can know when all of our other art videos are coming out. Yeah, and until we see you next, keep making cool, cool art. art.